After the Nakia Creek fire scorched 1,900 acres and placed thousands of homes under evacuation orders, today fire officials say they have battled that fire back to 43% containment. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 11 o'clock. I'm Wayne Haverly. Our Joelle Jones was out in Camas today with the very latest on that fire. Well, Wayne, the Oregon Department of Forestry says they've made some major progress on that Nakia Creek fire. As crews continue to battle the blaze, as you can see behind me, fire crews and support staff camping out here at the port of Washougal Camas. And they tell us most of this progress is due to the recent rains, but they also say the weather has created some challenges for firefighters. We were able to raise containment to about 43%, you know, which is a great jump from 30 the day before. Natalie Weber with the Oregon Department of Forestry says the 24 hours of near nonstop rain was exactly what crews needed to help battle back the Nakia Creek fire. We're continuing to just make that progress. We Now that we have the fire completely aligned, we're just working on mop up, which is really just extinguishing those hot spots to make sure that the fire doesn't spread beyond the perimeter that we've created. Created. And while the much needed rain has aided firefighters efforts, ODF says it has also posed a risk to their safety, telling us the sudden wet and wintry weather has increased the risk of fallen trees, erosion and even hypothermia for the more than 500 responders. They're working um, in the cold, you know, wet rain. Um, they're working hard, so they're building up a sweat and then, you know, it, the wind picks up or it just gets chilly and they're wet. And so there's there, there actually is a risk of hypothermia. If they are down in the valleys, uh, they could just all of a sudden be overwhelmed with a whole bunch of water that is coming down and this slurry that is coming down that we call a debris flow. Portland State Geology Professor Scott Burns says weather conditions are not only a concern for fire crews, telling us the burnt ground and sudden showers can cause dangerous short and long term effects for the surrounding areas. We will have the immediate effect of sediment coming down with the first rainfall, but then we keep an eye on it five to 10 years later uh, when we might have uh, huge landslides created because the roots are have fallen apart and everything comes down. So those are the two things that we have to really worry about in these particular areas. Amid these safety concerns, ODF says they are monitoring forecasts and have built water bars on roads to aid water runoff and reduce the risk of mudslides. And while the conditions might not be comfortable for crews, ODF says the showers have been instrumental in fighting the once 1900 acre fire, now allowing all residents to safely return to their homes. Throughout the whole duration of this fire, there wasn't a single home or structure that was destroyed or lost, um, which is uh, really amazing considering how many homes are just in and amongst that area and the fire behavior that was happening last weekend. While well, the Oregon Department of Forestry says they have a goal of reaching 100 feet into their current mop up area perimeter before handing off the job to the Department of Natural Resources and other local agencies to finish out this fire. Reporting from Camus, I'm Joelle Jones. Coin